So today we're going to be working on a few projects. We are going to be replacing a couple of these shelves with one more that I think can hopefully replace the both of them. And then that will give me more room here in the pantry. So, and then I think we're waiting on one more shelf to come in and I'll let my husband explain what the heck he's talking about because I honestly don't understand but he's working on something and um, we're also going to be cleaning out our freezers. We have three freezers and we're going to be trying to use what's in them because they're all filled and we're going to just see what we can do if we can can some stuff or just maybe do a week challenge of just living off food in our freezer. Uh, you know, we've had a couple of close calls here with power going out. I mean, just in the past few days alone, we've had a couple of tornadoes, actually 11 to be exact, here in Texas. And then we just had some earthquakes yesterday, not in our area, but more in the central west region of Texas. But, you know, I just have a uh, fear of having a full freezer and then losing access to all that stuff. So we're going to try to see if we can um, start using or dehydrating, do something with them. But let's check out what we got going on today. So we are standing at the back of my pantry. Okay, so it is adjoined by the room that we're currently in. I'm going to try to see if I can get these two shelves, the the contents of both of these shelves, to go onto this new, new shelf. And then Corey is going to explain about one more shelf that we're waiting on. Alright babe, let's see if my subscribers have any clue what you're talking about. Whatever you're trying to describe to me, I'm sure it'll be wonderful, but it makes no sense to me. So, what's happening? Alright, so when we bought these shelves, they were only 4X shelves. Okay, so... Got that part. I got four of these shelves in total. And I made that one in there six shelves. I made this one six shelves. So, that leaves me one more four shelf rack. And I have all these parts over here, all these posts, to uh, make another shelving unit. So I want another six shelving units. I didn't want to buy a couple more of the big ones. I bought a little bit smaller one. They're two three shelf units, like 36 inches high. And um, so I'm going to take these posts, these longer posts, put them together. And it's going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit not as wide. And I will take the six shelves out of those two other shelves and make you another six shelf rack. Okay. That's so those it. are a couple minutes you will never ever get back. If anybody understood what he said, please put it in layman's terms because I think he's going to need to draw me a graph at this point. But let me show you the shelf that he's referring to that he put together in the pantry. Okay. So is the shelf that you bought about the size of this? This new one we just put Well, in. it's a little bit, it's not quite as wide and not quite as deep. So basically, I was saying on the other side, it took three shelves or four shelves to make these two with six um, uh, racks each, six levels. And that's why I have the extra posts and the wheels and all that. And that's why I ordered the other two pack of three shelving units which will give me another six shelves <laughs> okay i i think you're really gonna need to draw me a picture uh of what you're talking about but anyway so uh with the shelf that we installed put in here this is all of our soups or at least most of them i think I did not want to put the canned broth that, that we canned because it is in glass jars. So we have some of that down there. I did not want to put it here and risk it falling and breaking. So uh, anyway, we're going to be working on organizing the pantry a little bit more. And like I said, we're going to uh, clean out our freezers. And what else do we have going on today, babe? Uh, we're going to go to the camper. 
and start to clean it and take some stuff for our trip this week. And if I have time, I'll change the brakes on your car. Oh, yeah, because it's due for inspection yeah. or it's actually past due. So, needless to say, we're going to be busy today. Okay, so were you going to put one of those shelves back here to house the non-food preps, like yeah. the toilet paper and the uh, well, paper the towels? Well, paper, paper towels, I'm going to move on the other side of the wall and the coolers. Okay, so... I'm going to take upstairs. I'm going to put a shelf in here. So we're going to... This right here, let me back up, is just some random area of the downstairs part of the apartment where we put our coolers. We're going to put those upstairs, and I think what he's saying is... We're going to remove this and maybe put a shelving unit here uh, to put some of our non-food preps. All right. So, here we go. What we got going on? Well, just, I got to get, we've got so much old, old fruit down in here. I need to get rid of some of this. Okay. And there went your glasses. And here's something that's really tasty. We get these at Trader Joe's. I love them. You love those, huh? Stout and steak it pies. takes a lot to impress Corey. It's very rare that yeah. he gets excited about anything, but really he that. does like those. Okay, so we're going to be testing out a prep. We're going to be testing out our um, pie iron on the nice. fire when we go camping. So, uh, yeah. Some of our frozen meals, like. Oh yeah. Pot roast. Oh yeah. So that's something else that Corey likes make to do. Ziti. So instead of just like soup. freezing meat, he will he will make meals and then freeze them with the what do you call this plastic thing contraption? Vacuum seal. The vacuum seal. Okay, so we can just thaw them out and they're ready to eat. So we got enchilada soup, chicken pot pie, baked ziti. That's a bunch of fruit for my smoothies, but i got to go through and see if it's freezer burned, which I'm going to guess a lot of it is. Pecan smoked wings. What is that? Chicken broth? Chicken broth. All right. So, um, and I would like to do a you challenge. Pie More pie crust? Yeah. Okay. Just, I'm sure those are still fine. But uh, we're going to do a challenge I don't know about um, where we do it every single day because, you know, the holidays are coming up and we've got plans, but I'm going to try to see if we can just live off of our freezer stuff. We focus so much on our pantry, but we really need to start using up some of the things in our freezer. I think these are all um, vegetable things. So edamame, oh, there's some frozen avocado okra, butternut squash, noodles, yeah, okay, and then maybe if possible, we might see if we can dehydrate or make some kind of homemade dog food for the dogs, if, um, you know, I know pumpkin is real good for them, squash, so, oh, okay, here's some meatballs, I keep saying I'm going to do wow. a peanut butter and There's jelly two bags of meatballs. meatball my goodness oh i just bought these today the mini wontons that are vegetable all right so you get the idea we've got a couple of freezers that we need to go through and just sort out what's old what's salvageable and start planning a menu around what we've got dang got a lot of broth so this freezer in our game room, this used to be the freezer in the kitchen, but we got another one. And uh, so this is just all of our meat, just nothing but meat in here. So we'll need to start going through and using some of these items because, you know, my fear is, like I said, if we lost power, if it's only for a couple days, we'll be okay. And we've got a generator and whatnot, but I just really think that I'd like to eliminate some of the things we have in our freezer and either uh, dehydrate them or just go ahead and start eating them.
in, in this freezer right here, this is a lot of our vegetarian, non-meat things. Like, I mean, down here we've got a bunch of butter that we froze. Um, let's see here. Just a bunch of odds and ends. But again, we need to go through and organize this mess. If I get the new shelves in the pantry, hopefully that can free up some space because they're bigger and taller and there's more room. And these rolling carts here, I would like to kind of consolidate them. Right now they just kind of house all our odds and ends like olives, pickles, um, jalapeno peppers, pepperoncini or whatever you call those, and different condiments, salad dressings things like that but the good news about these rolling carts is uh you know if we have company coming over or whatever we just they have wheels we can just roll them back into the pantry so uh, we'll be back nice. okay so these are some things we're gonna have to toss or whatever they either have holes in them they're freezer burned i absolutely hate that but um Okay, and then what do we got going on over here? Trader Joe's. I don't know. Oh, dang. Whoops. Well, I don't know how they want to keep it this stuff. That's from Trader Joe's. Yeah. We got our hands full. Oh, veggie tots. I remember when the girls were hooked on those. So we got cauliflower rice. This, I think I bought when the girls were still in school, yeah, so that's a few, old. few years old. And there's another one down here. It's like you're obsessed with buying these things. Um, I've pretty much cleaned oh, everything that's out on that side. Oh, that's vegetarian What? I've pretty much cleaned everything out on the right side. I just wanted to do these bins. Okay. So, we get parts. Put Falafel. Part. This can go in the vegetarian. Anything that's like... Okay, I can put this tots. veggie tots. Give me those. Is that going in the other one? Yep. So I have the contents of this entire shelf taking up two and a half rows of this shelf. So I get to remove this. And we will find another use for this. Don't worry. All right. And, eh, no, I don't trust myself moving this. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I don't trust myself with that one. Uh, let's see what we got. The light is out in this room, so it's kind of, hold on. And this is on a tripod, so forgive me. You're probably seeing my ceiling and everything else. Okay, let's see if you can see that. This is literally leaning right now. So I'm going to try to see if I can get the contents of this shelf to take up the other two and a half rows here. So we'll see what we got. So we came to the camper to clean and uh, bring some things here and take some things off but I just wanted to remind people make sure that part of your preps include things to keep you busy and keep your kids busy if there was ever a grid down situation or you lost power or access to the internet or whatever um, these are just a whole bunch of puzzles and we've got um, yeah just more puzzles and think of things like coloring books, arts and crafts. Um, what else are some good, if you, somebody in your family likes to journal, take notes, uh, draw, just those are things to think of to be sure that you're putting away as part of your preps. So we're gonna be taking home some of our summer things. Obviously we're not gonna need a fan if it's gonna be, what, 18 degrees? or so when we're camping so we're just going to kind of get some things off the camper we're going to clean out the refrigerator a little bit it's pretty clean but i just need to wipe it down with some wipes and then my hubby is gonna uh vacuum in here because it's 
It's been a minute since we cleaned the floors. When you go camping, you drag in all kinds of dirt and sand and things like that. I love these little trays. I think I got them on Amazon. And you can extend... I can't do it with just one hand. But anyway, you get the idea. They, You can stretch them up or down or whatever. But these are perfect for when you're driving down the road and hitting all these bumps. If you've got little things... In your fridge that you don't want to topple over you can just put put in these so obviously they're not just for campers they're you know great to have at your home as well to get your fridge organized another good prep to have just for entertainment purposes not for survival is a portable dvd player um you know if you've got a generator or you know one of those what do you call them, like solar batteries or something yeah. that you could plug it into to keep the kiddos entertained. We love this TV show, The Middle. I swear it, it mirrors our family perfectly. Um, anyhow, so this is just an example. Let me go see if I can find my DVD player just a second. Okay, so yeah, here's my DVD player. We got this mainly for when we were traveling and things like that, and we wouldn't always have access to wi-fi or whatever or sometimes when we go camping we don't really have a strong signal um anyhow so dvd players they might run some specials on amazon like during amazon prime day or um well black friday's already passed but you can get these sometimes as low as maybe 40 bucks or whatever but just something to consider to put in your uh, entertainment preps Another prep to consider maybe to put in a bug out bag if you've got any kind of back problems and you know you think that you might have issues sleeping on a hard surface surface like the ground or whatever. These um, are like little uh, portable hammocks, kind of like an Eno or something. I think this is just a different brand, but anyway, these are good to have in your preps as well. Okay, we got a random grocery haul here. We went to HEB and Walmart. And this might be my last haul for the year, but who are we kidding? It probably won't be. Um, anyhow, I know it looks like a bunch of junk, which, yes, in a way it is. I've been strolling down memory lane <laughs> lately. I ordered a bunch of vintage shirts. I've been watching after-school specials. I think I am feeling nostalgic because I'm about to turn 50 and I'm just reminiscing of my younger years, my glory days. So I was just totally craving some of my favorite cereals that I had growing up. Okay, so I got those. Uh, what else have we got going on? This is hands down the best sweet tea. I like it better than Red Diamond and all those other flavors out there. This you can only find at Walmart. That's the zero calorie one. I've really been wanting to make some smoothies here lately, so we got, um, what is this here? It got peaches, carrots, pineapples, bananas, and mangoes. I'm going to need to move the stuff to the freezer here in a minute. Uh, and then we got, what is that, strawberry, banana, and red grapes. This one's got green apples, spinach, bananas, pineapples, and kale. All right, we got this one, sweet potatoes, grapes, and what else is that? I can't read it. Cherries and pear, okay. Awesome. And then an acai berry with banana, strawberry, and raspberry. All right, uh, these marshmallows I found to be kind of interesting. So they're filled with uh, cinnamon toast crunch cream. I don't know. I'm thinking I might drop one of these in my hot chocolate or my coffee one morning. It could be totally disgusting or it could be good. I haven't really figured out yet. Uh, I guess my sweet thing. I've got some Heath bars. These goldfish crackers are going to go in our Chex Mix recipe. Shout out to Cold War Prepper. He did a haul a while back. I've been wanting this forever and have not been able to find it. 
he mentioned it and I was just determined to get it. I tried to look up how to do a sourdough starter kit and it's like, it looks so, so hard. So, um, found this and I'm just so excited about that. What else we got for our salads? Yes, we do eat healthy food from time to time. <laughs> Uh, so this is a edanami cranberry cashew and sunflower seeds. Um, no, I have a ton of pasta, but I don't know if I have these kind of corkscrew shaped. So I just got a box of those. Got a couple more seasonings, cheesy taco, white chicken chili. Got more Rolos in case we want to make more of those turtles and snicker bites that we made uh, the other day in that last video we posted. By the register at Walmart, they have these, uh, a bunch of kitchen utensils, but we needed some more measuring cups and spoons for 97 cents. We've got some cilantro for our fideo and menudo that we picked up at our local taco shop today. Got some avocados. Weren't those on sale, babe? 50 yeah, cents or 58? Okay. Got some Vienna sausages for my little chihuahua. She's obsessed with those things. I got some evaporated milk for a two-ingredient tortilla recipe I'm going to be doing. I needed to replace my... Is this... This ground beef, this isn't the... Um, what do you call it? Wagyu. Is this Wagyu? Yeah, it says it on the recipe. Oh, okay. Well, I used our Wagyu the other day for a recipe, so we were going to replace it with this, and it was $5 a pound. Kind of pricey, but it's good stuff. The uh, Johnsonville cheese-filled uh, brats or whatever smoked sausage, those are my absolute faves. And again, we do eat healthy, so just FYI, we, uh, we're going to do some prosciutto-wrapped asparagus, some of our Parmesan garlic Brussels sprouts, and our Lipton onion soup mix carrots. My honey wanted uh, to get these pickled red onions, wanted to add some more of this awesome Parmesan cheese to the pantry. I found some cloves on sale for my elderberry syrup. Got some mayo. We just opened our last jar of uh, jalapenos, so we got some more of those. These are for my uh, White Castle burgers I'm going to be making. Green beans for my um, smoked kind of soy sauce, Asian-inspired green bean recipe. Oh, we're also going to use some of our canned... Um, asparagus to replace green beans in a casserole. Like instead of a green bean casserole, we're going to use our canned asparagus and see what that tastes like. I've got some, I love the smooth style yogurt. I cannot stand pieces of soggy fruit in my, um, in my yogurt. So I love the smooth. We had this on a, not that y'all care, but on a plane trip to Hawaii one time, uh, and it just always reminds me of it, so that's good. We've been going through the popcorn like crazy, so we got more of that. Uh, chips for some uh, brisket queso that we'll be making tomorrow, and there might be some other things that I forgot to put up on this table, but you get the idea. Uh, this may be our last haul for the year, so... Um, hope y'all are doing well. See you soon. Okay, so now we are taking shelf number two out. And we will find a use for this somehow. Up in the apartment. Up in the apartment, okay. And so, if, if you want to come over here, I don't know, we're kind of limited on room right now. But we were able to fit two shelves worth of stuff here. I'm still gonna go in and resort and put things according to their expiration date and all that. This is just temporary for now. So, uh, here, Corey, you wanna uh, trade places real quick? And if, can you scoot this? Or can you roll it into the pantry here? Whoops. 
Or is it, it might be really, really heavy. I don't know if it's just kind of, oh, except for the other way. Yeah, no, I'm trying to. Oh, I see. Okay. I gotta go this way This just gives me such peace of mind having um, some shelves that are a little bit more stable. This is a whole new meaning of the word shelf stable. Babe, what are you knocking down over here? Oh, I know what these are. These are some of the cheese that we uh, repackaged. We bought a big old jar of um, Rico's cheese. Where is my cheese stuff? Yeah, so that didn't roll very well. And uh, we love these jars. We also made our homemade caramel, which I believe you just take some sweetened condensed milk and you boil it. I'll have to do a video on that. It's too, I got too many things going on. Okay, that's the cheese. So anyhow, I will be back on another day to do uh, an official pantry tour. It's still a work in progress. My next goal, um, I want to kind of do something with these shelves and possibly consolidate some more. So we will be back. Thank you for sticking around with us today and um, just sharing in our journey of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Just running errands, being silly, doing a lot of work around the house. So I hope y'all are staying busy too. Enjoy your holiday season. We will be in touch soon. Take care.